Welcome back to my second video in my introductory series for Dungeons Defenders 2. Uh, this time I will take a look at the tavern and the different specs that uh, your heroes can have. Which is, the, each time you level, you will uh, put your points into this. Okay, to start off with, first thing you want to do is run up here to your hero manager. Enter it, and uh, to say it this way, when you play, you can have a deck of three heroes. What you want to start with is filling out this deck, so you can swap between those three heroes uh, when the game is going. Uh, right now, you can only level one hero at a time, but uh, later you will uh, be leveling the whole deck. And therefore, it's always smart to have the whole deck filled out. So, to start off with, create uh, two other heroes you want. Uh, for some, having uh, uh, both two uh, trap buffer type of heroes uh, and a waller might be a good idea. But on the other hand, uh, the apprentice is a magical type of damage and the uh, square is physical type of damage. Uh, my favorite is the Myself is the combination of the Geyser Trap and the Lightning Aura for the Monk. So I will at least start out with a Monk myself. <coughs> and uh, then you also want a Waller. Uh, the Apprentice is very strong, but... Uh, yeah, I've used it so many times that I kind of want to use the Squire this time. And... Uh, the square wall is a bit stronger, and uh, some of the skills can be quite nice to have. Uh, in uh, Later in game, for example, uh, putting up a lot of ballistas will make the game easier because you can kill a whole lane at a time and stuff like that. So, yeah, going with those three this time. <coughs> um, yeah, Normar will be the name. Okay, so one deck of three heroes. That's what you're gonna have. Okay, now that that's done, over to the Defender's Forge. Uh, wait a minute, uh, I'll take that one latest because that's where the hero specs are. Okay, starting out, Hero Recruiter. This is the place where you choose the maps. First you choose... This is temporary, actually. So, uh, in theory, you can unlock the... Uh, Later on, it won't be quite like this, but as it works right now, you choose a level range and then join a uh, game in that level range, and then you choose a map that is inside that level range. For example, at level 1 to 3, you have one map to choose from, at 3 to 5, you have two maps to choose from, and uh, continuing like that. So, yeah, you need to have at least one hero in that level range. To uh, actually use it, or at the minimum level for the level range, you can have uh, heroes at level 10 and still enter it and stuff like that. So, and currently that's actually one of the better ways to level to go on a lower level map. Okay, over to the next part. Uh, yeah, next one is the enchantment wheel. This is where you upgrade your weapons. Put a weapon inside the middle one and uh, put different. Uh, weapons around, then you upgrade and get XP for the weapon. Uh, th this is also for armor too, of course. Uh, so yeah, pretty simple way. You upgrade the stats on the weapon like before, but yeah, easy as that. Uh, here is where the tailor will be, it has not been implemented yet, so uh, let's skip ahead to the next one. Here we have our uh, first shop, here is the relics, these are uh, yeah, medallions and uh, amulets and stuff like that. It uh, restocks every 30 minutes now I think. And uh, the shops can have some of the best items in the game. Um, yeah, it's all about luck of course, but you should check the shops quite often. Over to the other shop, we have... Uh, Weapon shop. Here you find the different weapons and uh, 
yeah, as uh, as with other shop, you can find the best stuff in uh, on this shop, but uh, I tend to find better weapons in game. So. Okay. I think that's it for most part. Here we have another hero manager, the same as that one up there. Uh, here we have the dummies. You can test towers and uh, test damage. <coughs> for example, if I place this one here, I don't know if the trap has been implemented yet, but yeah. You understand what I mean though, so. Where the time and keep, where you report bugs. Um, yeah, the tavern is quite nice now actually, so some secret spots are uh, pretty much space, so at least I, uh, for me it's what I've always wanted, a bigger tavern with more space, so we can meet up with a lot of people at one time and plan, uh, plan out groups and uh, have fun with people, pretty much. Okay, over to the last part, back to the Heroes and Defenders Forge. Okay, so, yeah, you have uh, the bags here. Uh, as you pick up items, the uh, bags will have uh, one slot for every item you pick up. So, one weapon, one armor piece, one weapon and one armor piece, continuing like that. So, one bag has 18 slots. And you start out with three bags. To unlock more uh, bags, you will have to buy them for gold. And uh, yeah, it is a bit of gold that it costs, but uh, yeah, it's quite affordable at the same time. Uh, you might want to have quite a lot of bags though, because bag space fills out fills up quite fast, but far from as fast as in Dungeons and Dragons one. Okay, over to character. Here you can see the all the info on the different uh, scales and uh, uh, the different towers that I talked about in the last video. Over to stats, you can see the different stats. Uh, it, uh, soon it will come special stat list, which is, uh, for example, uh, fire damage, uh, and earth damage, wind damage or stuff like uh, uh, plus 30% speed to fireball tower and uh, yeah different uh, special stats than, uh, that you can get to your gear and to your hero. Uh, some of the special stats in, in the specs too. For example, uh, yeah let's look at this one, run and gun. Each time you uh, hit someone with an attack you increase your movement speed for 3 seconds by uh, a certain percent, which stacks 5 times. Uh, combining this uh, skill with, uh, let's see, which one is it? Um, okay, this one had a debuff for, uh, before that uh, it's uh, turned down your run speed, but it doesn't have any more, so. But, well, anyways, it makes you faster and that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, run and gun, faster speed, long range, you de uh, deal more damage the further away the are. Uh, charge primary. Um, each time you shoot a primary attack, it's a chance that it, you will s uh, send a fully charged arrow instead, which is uh, the most damage you can do by holding down the button instead. Uh, it also deals splash when it's charged. Uh, fire for effects. Uh, <coughs> let's uh, explosive traps uh, explode one more time uh, instantly without uh, costing a charge. Um, it has a s quite small chance, and uh, seeing as you never use explosive traps ever later game, yeah, I wouldn't put any uh, any points into this skill. Maybe early game, but uh, not mid or late game. Uh, drenched. Uh, whenever Gacy Traps is used, it shoots up enemies into the air, and they will be drenched. So, uh, if you have, for example, an anti of the monk, and uh, 
that tower deals 100% increased damage, you will deal a lot of more damage. But this is only on the first attack afterwards. So for example, if you have uh, uh, have it inside the uh, electric aura, it might not be worth it. Uh, last but not least, we have anti-air, anti which is good combined with, uh, for example, drenched or uh, the gazer trap, which lets you do extra damage to uh, air enemies. Uh, okay, let's check out the next hero, the monk. Okay, I realized that I forgot to talk about the stats for the Huntress, so uh, just uh, to go through them. We have uh, health, damage, and uh, physical and magical defense, as uh, all enemies is either good at physical or defense. So, uh, as I said about uh, uh, Squire being physical towers and uh, Apprentice being magical towers, you will also have to think about uh, defense against the different enemies. So, uh, against magical enemies you want magical resist, and physical enemies you want physical resist. Uh, for example, an ogre, uh, which does uh, slam damage, is physical, and a draken, which shoots uh, big fireballs randomly around, does uh, magic damage, and having uh, low magic resist against those is pretty much suicide. Next is uh, ability power, which makes your ability stronger. And the three uh, defense that says what they are themselves. Defense health increases health of defenses on auras, it makes them uh, last longer. Defense power makes uh, stuff stronger, and defense speed makes them faster. Uh, what's different from the Defense 1 is that you have no. Uh,